In this lecture, we talk about constant pressure specific heat and its relation with enthalpy of a system. Here we have a system. The system is the yellow rectangle. It's in a piston cylinder enclosure. So we add heat to the system and we keep the pressure of the system constant so that it's in general, in general that the system needs to move its boundaries to maintain a constant pressure within it. And therefore, in this process, when we add heat, there is, in general, moving boundary work involved. Let's begin from the definition of uh, the specific heat. So, uh, based on the definition of a specific heat, we have, uh, we have this relationship, we have, uh, this is the definition of a specific heat for constant pressure and C sub P is the constant pressure specific heat. The net amount of heat added into the system should be related to the, uh, the change in temperature of the system in such a way. Now, how do we relate the uh, delta Q in net, this amount of uh, heat added into the system uh, with the property of the system? Let's look at the energy balance equation of the system. Okay. The energy balance equation. All right, here I have typed the energy balance equation. The infinitesimally small change in the energy of the system, dE, this is equal to the amount of uh, energy coming into the system minus the amount of energy going out of the system. Now we can simplify this. After simplify this, we realize that the only amount of, the only form of energy that goes into the system is in the form of heat. Okay, so we're, the net energy in is only heat, in the form of heat. And the, the net energy out is only in the form of a, moving boundary work. So imagine we're heating this um, uh, system in the uh, piston cylinder enclosure. When we heat it, it's going to get warm. And imagine this is air. If we heat it, it's going to expand. And it has the tendency to expand. But since it needs to maintain a constant pressure, so it needs to push out, out outward towards the surroundings so as to exert moving boundary work towards the surroundings. And because of we, we have a, a constant pressure uh, a constraint, the moving boundary work is related to uh, the pressure and the change in volume in such a way. Okay, now we can see the, uh, if we combine, if we move the, uh, if, re, re, if we rearrange the equation, if we rearrange this equation, change color to green. If we rearrange this equation, we get du minus or du plus w out net equals delta q in net. And since the moving boundary work is equal to PDV, let's replace it. Replace this with PdV, and uh, this is actually dH. It's the enthalpy change of the system. So because of this, we get this equation. All right, then because of these two equations, this one and uh, the definition of uh, the specific heat for constant pressure, because of these two, we get this relation. We get dH, that's when you have constant pressure. This should be equal to the mass of the system, C sub P times dT. Now further divide both sides of the equation by the mass of the system. We have dH, lowercase, constant pressure equals C sub P dT. Now this is similar to the derivation of uh, constant volume specific heat 
for a um, uh, for a constant volume process for a closed process uh, closed system in undergoing a pro uh, constant volume process, we can see that if we want to calculate the uh, if we want to calculate the uh, enthalpy change of a system that undergoes constant pressure process, then delta H must be equal to the integration of uh, C sub T dt. So if you know the beginning temperature and the ending pr temperature, and if you know the uh, specific constant pressure, uh, specific heat for the system, then you can calculate the delta enthalpy. You can, change the, you can calculate the enthalpy change of the system during that process. We can also um, show, similar to uh, C sub V relation, that if we consider um, H to be a function of uh, temperature and the pressure, we see that uh, the total derivative, the total differential of uh, uh, dH, this should be equal to the derivative of uh, H with respect to T when we keep P constant plus dH over dP when we keep um, temperature constant. So under a uh, constant pressure process, the second term is zero. So from this, we get this definition of uh, C sub P. So the definition of C sub P is the partial derivative of a system, system's enthalpy with respect to T when you keep pressure constant. Now even though we derive this uh, with a, um, in a specific case, uh, C sub P itself is actually a thermodynamic property of uh, the system. So this definition in blue, this is a universal definition. It's true for any system under any con uh, uh, condition.